much have I seen? The dark, distant mountains with valleys of green, the sky's painted deserts, the sun sets on fire. Boast of her gay gilded waters, her vines and her bowers, and her soft sunny skies. Her sons drinking love from the eyes of her daughters, where freedom expires amid softness and sighs. Scotland's blue mountains, wild where hoary cliffs are piled, towering in grandeur, are dearer to me. Land of the misty cloud, land of the tempest loud, land of the brave and proud, land of the free. Enthroned on the peak of her own highland mountains, the spirit of Scotia reigns fearless and free. Her green tartan waving o'er blue rock and fountain, and proudly she sings, looking over the sea. Here among my mountains wild, I have serenely smiled when armies and empires against me were hurled. Firm as my native rock, I have withstood the shock of England, of Denmark, of Rome and the world. There was a soldier, a Scottish soldier, who wandered far away, and soldier far away, there was none bolder. With good broad shoulder, he'd fought in money a fray, and fought and won. He'd seen the glory, he told the story, of battles glorious, and deeds victorious, but now he signed. 
his heart is crying to leave those green hills of Tyrol. Because those green hills are not island hills, or oh, the island hills, they're not my land's hills. And fair as these green foreign hills may be, they are not my hills of home. And now this soldier, this Scottish soldier, who wandered far away and soldiered far away, sees leaves are falling and death is calling, and he will fade away in that far land. He called his piper, his trusty piper, and bade him sound a lay up the rocks and to play upon a hillside. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you a toast, ladies and gentlemen. May this fair land we love so well in dignity and freedom dwell. The worlds may change and go awry while there is still one voice to cry. Country lane, wherever there's a cottage small beside a field of grain, there'll always be an England while there's a busy street. How many kinds of sweet flowers grow in an English country garden? I'll tell you now of some that I know, and those I miss you'll surely pardon. 
Daffodil hearts, he's in flocks, meadow sweet and lady smocks, gentine lupin and tall hollyhocks, roses, foxgloves, snowdrops, forget me nots, in an English country garden. In an English country garden. How many insects come here and go through our English country garden? I'll tell you now of some that I know, and those I miss you surely pardon. Fireflies, moss and bees, spiders climbing in the trees, butterflies that sway on the cool, gentle breeze. There are st- certain night, the night we met, there was magic abroad in the air, there were angels dining at the Ritz, and a nightingale sang in Barclay Square. I may be right, may be wrong, but I'm perfectly willing to swear that when you turn Smiled at me, a nightingale sang in Barclay Square. The moon that lingered over London town. 